Hello everybody and welcome back to AO.com. It's that time of week again when I attempt a ridiculous recipe in an unexpected appliance and this week things are getting a bit silly. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make butter in a washing machine. What did I tell you? Call me crazy, but this is based on a very scientific experiment which I did in year two with my teacher, Mrs. Jones. Everybody in our classroom sat around in a circle and we turned milk into butter by simply putting milk in a jar and taking it in turns to shake it. So I figure, surely a washing machine will do exactly the same thing. Right? Now I looked this little classroom experiment up online and it does exist and all I should need in terms of ingredients is whipping cream and a bit of salt. So how on earth are we going to do this you might ask? <laughs> well, I'm going to put the milk in this plastic jar. I don't want to put glass inside the washing machine and I ha my hope is that this will be completely watertight. Step number one is to pour some whipping cream Oh no! <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to pour my whipping cream into the plastic jar about three quarters full. I'm only doing it three quarters full because I think it needs to have some space to move around. So, whipping cream in the plastic tub. The main part of this experiment is damage proofing, is what I'm going to call it, or milk proofing. So before I put the lid straight on, I'm actually going to put a layer of cling film over the jar first. I saw someone do this with toiletries before going on a plane to stop your toiletries from... I don't know. Done. That's not coming out. Oh no, that's me. That doesn't look like it's on properly. It's surviving the shake test. Oh no, I didn't put the salt in. Okay, quickly reverse. Before you put the lid on, pop a little bit of salt in. This is just for taste. So there we go. Now back on with the lid. Okay, that's not coming off. Oh, you might be surprised here, but I'm going to put this inside a shoe. <laughs> okay, now my trainers happen to need cleaning anyway, but I figured that will fit a small plastic jar in it perfectly. And I can tie my laces around to make sure that it's nice and secure. I'm now going to put the old shoe with the jar of cream inside it into a pillowcase because the pillowcase stops the laces from getting tangled and bouncing around too much. So this is going to go into my washing machine <laughs> and hopefully I should get a lovely clean pair of shoes, the milk will churn up and we'll have butter. <laughs> Foolproof, and I guess I should put a washing tablet in there as I'm washing the shoes. I'm doing it, I'm putting in a washing tablet. I might as well have clean shoes if everything else fails, and if everything else fails, I'm definitely gonna need a washing tablet because I'm going to have <laughs> creamy trainers. I need to put this on a cold wash with a fast spin because we needed to shake around loads, but I don't want it to get hot and curdle. I guess that could happen. I'm going with an easy care 45 minute cycle, and I'm turning the temperature down to 30 degrees. Is this gonna work? Let's turn on the washing machine. Oh, jeepers. If this works. Ooh, so now we wait. Shall I just sit and watch? I can't just sit and watch. Whoa, 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 whoa. If, if it can survive that, then it can survive anything, surely. I think that washing machine's gonna take off. Oh my gosh. Perfect. One very clean train, or at least with one on some level. Oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> Shut up. No. Shut the front door. It's only gone and bleeding worked. Oh my, oh my God. Right, hang on, you need a close up. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> you can just see there's a little bit of liquid left in it. So all I need to do is just to strain that liquid out. I can't believe that's worked. <gasps> Should we try it on a cracker? Let's have some cracker butter and cheese. So I'm just gonna get a little bit out. Oh, it spreads like an absolute dream. Popping some cheese on. Oh, step on toast. Honestly, that butter is some of the best butter I've ever had. It's creamy, it's got the perfect amount of salt in it. 
I'm not starving my bottom more often because this stuff is amazing. You can't beat that. Butter and cheese on a cracker. If you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any more ideas for me, then just leave me a comment in the description below. And we will see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>